All right, welcome, welcome everyone um, to Doom 2016. So I'm gonna be showing you this slightly broken run. We're starting off with a new game, and time starts as soon as we shoot like the first bullet. They are rage brutal without mercy. So basically, um, I will already explain two glitches, or at least uh, name them. There's gonna be two glitches that we mainly mainly use during the run. First one is gonna be a glory kill clipping or skipping, and the second one is rail boosting. Um, one allows us to get out of bounds, and the other one allows us to uh, get really high up into the sky. Yeah, we're starting off here by shooting some zombies. So. I think now we already fulfilled our shots fired quota because we won't be seeing too many fights uh, in this run. Um, Doom has really evolved over time. It used to have like a lot of fights and fight optimization, but now it's mostly just skips, out of bounds skips um, from the start of the mission to the end. Um, the intro part is really the the most boring part of the run, even though there are a couple of minor skips. So we're just gonna have to watch like two cutscenes here. But after that it's uh, yeah, mission after mission, skip after skip. But if you haven't seen this run before you should be in for a treat. Also, we're gonna meet Samuel Hayden very soon. He's kind of the main villain um, of this game. But we won't actually see him again until the credits. At least not in this run. If you casually play through the game, then you will definitely meet him. But meeting him is slow. So, uh, I mentioned glory kill clipping before, which is also gonna be the first glitch that we actually see in this run. It allows us to abuse the glory kill animation of uh, enemies to basically clip through walls. And it works because the game, with certain animations, the game uh, transitions here, or it kind of teleports the player a bit backwards. Um, so first things first, we're gonna have to grab the shotgun here, because the shotgun is a really useful weapon, and otherwise you cannot progress here anyway. So that's also the first imp we're gonna see. But yeah, imps are really annoying. I'm gonna go over here, grab some health and kill some zombies because um, all the other zombies are gonna be like really annoying if we try to do the skip. That did not work. Okay, I'm gonna do the more safe strat. Come on, okay. That worked. So we basically clip... Ah, come on, where is it? Clip through the wall, and now all we have to do is um, find a certain spot here with which we can... or certain positioning from which we can trigger the button through the wall, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to progress even here. So that's also the intro. We didn't do the imp fight, because the imp fight uh, would be pretty slow. And yeah, um, unfortunately we got some kind of fog, so I will be reloading. Um, I'll be reloading the next checkpoint because this fog kind of happens like it's a rendering error, um, and it happens if you didn't, don't clip if you don't clip into the wall far enough. The next glitch we're gonna see is uh, rail boosting. Even though this time we're not gonna perform it on the rail, first we have to load the checkpoint here. This fog is like really bad for this skip. Okay, we got a checkpoint. It doesn't really waste much time, so should be fine with that. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna position myself here again. Aim here. 
that did not work. Um, a lot of the rail boosts are really precise and uh, very like accurate. We're gonna, just gonna try it again. And this time it worked. Let's see if we get this new trick. And that's a new boost, which is slightly faster than going down there manually. Pretty happy that worked, because it's a really cool boost in my opinion in my opinion. Basically it worked because I when I hit that slanted surface there on the roof, I jumped uh, when I touched it. And um, if you then just maneuver yourself right, you can uh, fly wherever you want there and get a boost. And also, I forgot to mention, um, you just saw an, a so-called extendo grab, which is a fairly new technique as well. Extendo grabs allow us to uh, trigger far enough or somewhat far objects and uh, trigger points by um, meshing zoom with your mouse wheel and um, also pressing use at the same time or meshing use. Uh, the game kind of transforms the camera to a certain spot there um, and that allows you to trigger stuff from far. It's really convenient. So here we're gonna set up another glory kill scope. The zombie. Which allows us to get out of bounds. And we're gonna grab the assault rifle here. Again, an extendo grab. Extendo grabs are not perfectly consistent. And this is the so called leap of faith. Um, it's called like that because it's mostly blind, but we have some visual cues. Like I shot four times with the shotgun there, and that allows me to kind of just uh, know when I have to move right and aim right. All right, that was pretty smooth. So we've got some, uh, or we saved some time basically here that we can lose here again on Foundry. Hopefully not, because the thing is Foundry is uh, one of the hardest missions in the game. It's very technical, at least if you want to do it really fast. I'm gonna attempt it really fast, like once, I think. Um, and if that doesn't go well, I'll just play it like more safe. So most of the runs um, or attempts that you do, um, you're gonna reset on Foundry. And yeah, you'll see why it's pretty hard. Uh, it has a skip that's called Foundry skip. Um, Pretty simple but yeah the skip itself is not simple and you have to really pay a lot of attention. Okay, first things first we're gonna grab some micro missiles here um, which are gonna be really useful in a lot of spots to uh, propel ourselves like a bit forward like here or even upwards like here. Ah come on. So we can now get up here and grab this um, blue key card, which actually serves as a checkpoint. And that's very convenient because we're gonna go a bit out of our way and uh, grab the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is like really useful in the remaining fights, so uh, you definitely want to get it, even though it's like a 15 second detour roughly. It's here, and then we're just gonna load the checkpoint. And uh, now the real foundry, skips begins. foundry skip begins. Um, I will probably be quiet for most of it, so just trying to focus. Okay, so this glory kill is a bit finicky, but if you fail it here, um, it's like no big deal. It doesn't cost much time. Uh, unfortunately, we clipped back inbounds.
This is a fairly new way of doing this, um, so it's kind of hard, but shouldn't be a big deal. Ah, zombie, come. As long as Foundry Skip itself doesn't go too terrible. I shouldn't jinx it. <laughs> Part one. That was actually the easy part. Alright, nice. I'm pretty happy that worked, except for the start. It's only like a minute of, minute of time lost, which is really nice for a marathon, because that skip is like really not easy. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that skip allows us to completely bypass a lot of cutscenes, or a lot really long cutscene rather. Plus also it allows us to bypass um, a very long fight. It saves probably like two minutes or even more. I'm happy I got that. Some small attempts for extender grabs here. They wouldn't save much time, but so if you thought the uh, if you thought the first rail boost was cool, just watch watch me fall down here. It's no problem though. We can just uh, climb back up here. I'm gonna set up a really cool uh, rail boost here. And finish it off with an extender grab. And this mission actually is really long, um, if you play it casually. So it's really cool that we can just skip pretty much all of it after getting out, out of the gate at the start. So this run actually, like, if you really do attempts, this run becomes a lot of fun once you get past Foundry, because, like, there are so many cool missions and strats and everything you can do. And after a tower, the run really picks up even more speed, because we get a... Uh, Another weapon, um, the Gauss Cannon. It's a secret weapon in this uh, mission, actually. First, a small rail boost up here, because that uh, skips another fight down here in this area. Small extender grab. Like, it's a lot of small, ex um, small optimizations that make this run really fast. Especially, like, in the last month. This run has really gone down a lot in uh, time. For now, um, Almost sub 30 minutes. Shoutouts to Jerome and Seeker who really pushed this game. And oh, I forgot to mention this is also a really cool um, rail boost. It's actually like one of the coolest rail boosts in the game because it like uh, it uh, just allows you to skip uh, s scaling the whole tower. There are a couple of fights in there, a lot of climbing and so on, and we can completely bypass that. Raid boosts in general, um, I will explain at the end of this mission when I have time um, how they work. But you need a lot of FPS for them. You can see in the upper right corner how many FPS I have, but you usually want 200 for rail boosts. So um, this is not actually a real fight. Um, you just have to survive until two timers go off. Um, still, there's a, s a bit of, well, I won't say RNG because um, you can manipulate things by uh, killing enemies. We just don't know like 100% what causes fast countdowns to happen. So I'm gonna grab the invincibility, invincibility here. Jump down here. Um, actually, you normally wouldn't be able to jump down there, but uh, thanks to an oversight of the developers with the invulnerability, you can just do this. And now use this time where we have to wait for the timer anyway. 
um, to just grab the secret we the weapon in this mission, the gas cannon, which lies here. And that's actually a fairly good second countdown. Um, this countdown comes in intervals of like 15 seconds and sometimes you can lose th 30 seconds here if you're really unlucky. And uh, that's tower. So, um, Rayboots work because at high FPS the game's physics go kind of wonky and the game tries to like, if you climb an object the game tries to push you out of it again just to make you not get stuck, uh, but because it does that tied to the frame rate, we can use that to just propel ourselves in the sky, and that's really awesome for the speedrun. So we got the Gauss Cannon. With this Gauss Cannon we can do horizontal and vertical boosts, and uh, every boost uh, saves about like two and a half seconds. I'm gonna grab a checkpoint here. Um, come on, where is it? There. And gonna do an extender grab here that you usually don't go for in runs, but since it's so cool, I'm just gonna go for it here. It's uh, somewhat inconsistent. There we go. That actually almost didn't lose time. Gonna do some cool uh, gauss boosts over here again. Got a lot of ammo, which is really nice. Because this um, extendo grab also saves ammo. We don't ha really have to worry too much about ammo here for the rest. Ammo management is a big thing in this game. Also, I got an extendo grab there. Nice. Uh, ammo management is really crucial for Doom. Um, if you are low on ammo, especially in the later missions, why I will still show you, uh, then you have a problem with some bosses and you're gonna lose a lot of time. So you always want to keep, uh, especially like a lookout for your gauze ammo and uh, the ammo of a certain special weapon that starts with a B and ends with a G. <laughs> so that was Cat Gear Sanctum. Coming up, um, Facility Destroyed, which is basically like the, yeah, the destroyed version of the mission we saw earlier. It's a really short mission as well in the speedrun. Gonna get over here, do a boost over here. Like, boosts and the glory kill clips and rail boosts make this game so broken. And this is another rail boost, um, which propels us into the inner part of this mission, which is where you usually, like, it takes quite a while to get here. There's still a small fight that we're gonna have to do here. Kill some imps. Imps are really annoying, did I already say that? It's the last imp. Was actually still two missing. Oh, we got le this is so nice. I should always go for the extender grab in category. You have so much ammo here, and you really don't need to worry about anything, even if you lose a little bit of time. Love it. And that facility destroyed. This run is pretty good so far. I'm happy about it. It's actually on PB pace so far. ARC, uh, Advanced Research Complex, next mission. There's a small auto-scroller here at the start. It's not too long though, so... Theoretically you can skip this by uh, opening up the weapon wheel, which kind of slows down game speed. It's just, I'm, I think it's not really that consistent, it only saves a couple of seconds at best. But yeah, since this game is being pushed so hard in the last uh, month, maybe someone will make it consistent. Like, this game has gone down so much. I will give some shoutouts during the run, I guess. So many people contribute contributed to this run being great. Also, you see some uh, some micro missile boosts here, each saving a tiny bit of time. And yeah, um, this mission has been rerouted a while ago as well. The new route is much safer and really cool in my opinion. So we're gonna do um, here, Oracle. Uh, so I'm trying to go for a new method of glory killing there, which um, gives you a really fast turnaround of the enemies. It's a bit more inconsistent, or at least you need a lot more practice with it. I'm gonna do it, try it once more, I guess. Okay, let's do the old strat, which is like, uh, yeah, a bit easier, I think. 
You can get unlucky here. Oh, okay. That works. Gonna maneuver ourselves out here. And do a gauss boost out here. So the cool thing that you can do here is just grab a checkpoint down here, reload it, and you will be in the lower area, which seems slow at first, but because we have to travel back to um, like this part of the map at least one more time, it's actually faster to do it this way. Load the checkpoint here instead of doing the glory kill once more, which is also more inconsistent. First of all, we're gonna grab the secret, or actually it's not a secret weapon in this mission. Here. Forced normally to grab it. You could skip it here, but for the speedrun, um, it's like really convenient to use it. You will see why in a bit. It's the BFG, the big uh, freaking gun. Big hacking gun. Well, that doesn't work. Alright, so re reload the checkpoint because you keep weapons. Even if you load a checkpoint. Oh god, okay. Still made that. Still made that. <laughs> that was sketchy. What are we gonna do now is grab uh, some ammo plus chainsaw ammo. Because we're gonna use the chainsaw to replenish ammo the rest of the run. Small rerouting here. Um, not too long ago. It's a little bit faster to go this way. Also, you can do some bunny hops. I got like a small bunny hop there, not nothing too big, but we're gonna drop down here. Do some jumps here. Um, so, you see me going down this elevator instead of going up. Normally this elevator um, like rises up, but we're just going down because like to get it up, we would normally have to do a fight in this area and the fight is kind of pretty slow. <laughs> So we're just going to where the elevator basically is spawned. And um, yeah, how I was able to jump there even is because I, like whenever you touch a floor or um, yeah, the floor basically from below, or you touch a ceiling or something from out of bounds, you clip, and, and well, if you jump then with the right timing, you clip out of bounds, in bounds, out of bounds, in bounds, and every time you do that, the game gives you your double jump back. And yeah, that allows us to like uh, use the floor there to reverse that distance towards the elevator. So this Lazarus Labs, one of the harder mid and late game missions. It's not too bad though. And it's a really fun mission if everything goes well. Right, go down here and prepare a glory kill. Flip out of bounds here. Jump up here. This has been rerouted a while ago as well. Oops, come on. And one of the coolest looking rail boosts in the run, in my opinion. It's not a big one, but it's really fun. And with another gauss boost, you can um, you can uh, get to this part, skip a whole bunch of fights again and everything, and yeah, going out of bounds. It's basically just a question in this game to go out of bounds and then find a way back in bounds at the exit. And that worked pretty well. Nice. This is Lazarus uh, Two, which is kind of famous for being one of the few like left cut or one of the missions that um, still have a cutscene that we unfortunately cannot skip and a fight that we cannot skip. I'm gonna for safety reasons I'm gonna grab uh, an ammo upgrade here. Um, you can skip this but you're really really tight on ammo then for the rest of the run. So I'm not gonna risk that. Oops. So we activate this panel, which some of you might know from a GDQ Marathon and a Blood Thunders run. Famous, uh, what was it? Was it Windows 10 panel? 
something like that. Okay, so this is like we can't can't get out of bounds here, unfortunately. At least not practically. Theoretically, um, you can use an imp to clip inside of uh, one of these pillars, but clipping with imps is pretty much impossible to get consistent so far. Not many people have managed to do it at all. And um, yeah, maybe one day one day we will find a way to get that consistent. But so far it hasn't happened. It would save quite a bunch of time, like probably a minute or even more. But luckily at least we can manipulate this fight in a certain way. Um, this took actually quite a while until this was figured out, uh, or before this was figured out. Because the imps simply spawn, or the enemies simply spawn where you look. And I think it was Blood Thunder who finally figured this out, so shoutouts to him. Early run of the game, really uh, talented one obviously. And good glitch hunter. So basically what, what I'm doing now is just staring here. Firing rockets with the right timing. Sometimes an imp can go all over the place, but it's not too big of a deal unless uh, until you like, get a couple of them, then you kind of need to react. Uh, probably. The thing is, like, if you look around, then enemies will also spawn in other places, so you kind of want to avoid that. Yeah, you can see now. It's not no too big deal though. Gotta pay a bit attention to not die, actually. So there should be a Mancubus spawning uh, very soon, yep. And a fire beef G-shot. This will clear pretty much the whole room, except for maybe one or two enemies. And oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so we got that. And there's an imp left. It's, there, it's always an imp that is left. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first part of um, Lazarus 2. The easier part, obviously. Now comes a somewhat difficult skip, so I will be quiet for a little bit. Play it safe here. Alright, that's pretty much the skip, except I would fail here at the end. It's a really cool out of bounds um, area. It's really fun to experiment here. So, this brings us to the first uh, real boss of the game. Cyber Demon, and I'm, I'm kind of scared because he is a big run killer, as you will see. So, I really have to focus for him. Gonna grab a BFG shot here again, reload the checkpoint. That allows uh, us to, yeah, to basically save a little bit uh, of time. Right. Gonna fire this BFG shot and see if it does something. Oh, what is that? <laughs> yeah, and that is the magic of the big freaking gun. It's kind of an oversight by the devs again, um, because they forgot that if you pause the game with the weapon wheel, that damage is still being output. And they didn't, uh, like, fix that. Okay, so, real quick, another skip here that I'm going for. Let's see. Now, okay, this is a really hard skip, so if you fail it, it's not too, too big time loss, you can just uh, fire a BFG here. What I was trying to do there, basically, is to um, jump onto the Cyber Demon's back, then do a Gauss jump or Gauss boost uh, up over this gate. Uh, it's, it would save, like, I don't know, 7 to 10 seconds or something, combined with the next mission. It's a really, really cool skip, in my opinion. You can get it somewhat consistent, but yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't work. And that brings us to Titan's Realm. Which is a yeah, fairly straightforward mission. Pretty short as well. 
Only a minute long, about. We have so much ammo here, this is ridiculous. Normally, you don't have this much ammo. But we can do some additional boosts here, I guess. So I'm gonna fire a BFG shot out here. That should clear all the enemies outside there. It's like really just tactical usage of the BFG. Just like really overpowered. And here, we're gonna go out of bounds. And once we're out of bounds, you should know what's gonna happen now. Just gonna get to the exit. Simple as that. This game is really, yeah, out of bounds simulator, basically. So we're in the third last mission, which is the Necropolis. Pretty cool mission. Um, it has another boss fight. I don't know why that cost me two ammo, but okay. So first thing, first first things first, gonna grab an ammo upgrade here. The ammo is really well routed out for this game in general. Um, it just barely is enough, like, if you want to do wall record strats. And yeah. This brings us out of bounds again. Okay, that was, like, that was, like, the first time that didn't work in a while. Um, that's a, or used to be a somewhat hard gauss boost. Uh, I tried to kind of just wing it, and I didn't fail that, like, or winging that uh, at all yet. And the problem is, if you fail it, you have to reload the mission, because otherwise you won't have the ammo from the Argent upgrade, which you definitely want to have here. Oh yeah, field's bad, man. We just have to do this again and probably not wing it the next time. <laughs> Considering how well the rest of the run went, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, if you start out, this Gauss boost can be somewhat frightening, but once you just get a smooth mouse movement, um, it's really not too bad. And if you don't YOLO it. This haste power-up is pretty conveniently placed. Just allows us to go a bit faster here. There would be a fight here, but we can simply fire a BFG shot that will clear the enemies. Also the enemies that uh, would still spawn there. As you can see, like, the beef is really so freaking useful. Okay, I don't think I can reload here yet. <laughs> Almost did that. Gotta wait until the cutscene, because like reloading checkpoints uh, as soon as they appear just saves a bit of time as I said earlier. And next boss, if you paid close attention at Cyber Demon, you might have an idea of what's gonna happen. Well, that's not what's gonna happen. But this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not sure if he's taking damage. Nope, gotta reload here. Sometimes the game, if the game is not on 200 FPS, sometimes it just happens that the damage doesn't really work. Oh. You can get unlucky there, but it's really rare. And yeah, there we go. I think. Sometimes this is a bit scary. And that's the first part of the boss. But if one boss wasn't enough, we're gonna get two. But yeah, BFG just uh, works for every enemy on screen, so we can just do the same thing.
spear and damage both at the same time. Wow. Swag move. And that's the second one. You can time it really well um, if you're a bit, well, lucky, I would say. So you don't really have to shoot a lot at these guys uh, still. But yeah, it's a bit precise. It's no big deal, though, if you miss it. Uh, where is it? Okay, it should be here. And that's the Crucible. Uh, not the Crucible, the Necropolis. Third last mission. So yeah, I want to give some uh, shoutouts to the community while we're at it. Doom has one of the really coolest speedrun communities that I've uh, ever met. And shoutouts to everyone. Too many people to name. You guys know who you are. And so we're coming to Vega. Vega... Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna forget the skip here. I remembered it, guys. Repressing the weapon wheel. And letting go of it as soon as we get control. Because that... Together is an extendo grab even, oh my god. This run. That allows us to get a... Or there's a tethering animation that plays at the start. But uh, usually that would cost you like two or three seconds. But if you uh, just use the weapon wheel which is like very bugged as we have already seen. You can delay the tethering animation and use it at the same time as you press the button. And that way you can just save those couple of seconds. I'm trying for it to go for some more extendo grabs here, which each save a little bit of time. But um, yeah, it's no big deal if, if it doesn't work for one. This is like one fight that's left. Um, it's like not too difficult though. What we can do is we drop down here, grab another BFG shot. Hope I'm not low on ammo. I shouldn't be. And another BFG shot should clear out the room. Sometimes enemies can survive here. Actually for once we're lucky. Nice. And um, yeah. Now we're coming to the fabled Vega skip. The, yeah, the coolest skip in the game. Getting some ammo first. Uh, we're gonna need the ammo for the next mission. Getting here, grabbing a checkpoint because you want to have you want to have 200 FPS for the skip. Um, you can YOLO it, but it's like it, it it's a run killer, and I don't want to risk it here in this marathon. Rather new glory kill setup here. Ah, uh, okay. Gotta reload because there's a pinky coming, which uh, will ruin your day. Not a big time loss though. Ah, come on. Okay, I should probably not go for the fast strat here. The fast strat is, is not too bad, but yeah, it's annoying if you fail it, so. Also, this door closes if you don't do the first input here after the checkpoint early enough. It's kind of weird how it works. I did it. Come on. I should be able to get out here, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe... Uh... Come on, game. I know I can get out here. Unless I die. Okay, well... Well, there had to be something that goes wrong about this run if the rest was pretty okay for a marathon. <laughs> Don't tease me like this game, okay.
So I'm getting over here, and there's a very specific setup that I'm doing here for a rail boost, which actually isn't really even a rail boost, I would say. And it should work, yeah. And this way we can just basically skip all the, the I don't even know how you call that part, but a very long part. With a lot of fights. Okay, Doomguy, please climb up there. And, um, yeah, it's one of the coolest looking rail boosts in the game, in my opinion. It It's not really a rail boost, as I said, because it works off uh, the ceiling there, because some sometimes ceilings have the same properties as rails. I don't really know why, but it's just like that. And yeah, this way we destroy uh, Vega Senpai. Sorry, Vega. Which takes us to the last mission, Argent Noor. Also really cool out of bounds mission. You can kind of see like um, the missions that take place in hell have really cool out of bounds skips and everything. They are really open. There are some invisible walls that you can walk on and so like cannon gear and stuff. Yeah, come on. So this is also a rock climbing simulator. And here's an invisible wall, conveniently placed, that we can use to just get over here. Oh my god, oh god. That was really unfortunate, I barely missed the ledge there. I'm gonna get into that ledge and uh, do another boost of that. Oh. Shouldn't have jinxed myself earlier. But better this than Foundry, I'd say. Foundry can really make you depressed if you fail it. A lot of times, especially in a marathon. This used to be a really hard ghost boost for me when I started learning this game, but yeah, once you practice a little bit more and get the hang of it, it's not too bad. This time this should make it, yeah, alright. Now we can just um, safely get down here from invisible platforms. Jump into this gap. Get down here. Oh my god, what is this? This way we can land in the area in the area where the final fight takes place, which is uh, Spider Mastermind. Luckily, Spider Mastermind is no no big deal for us. What do you want to do is stun her to be like as fast as possible, then just use another BFG shot for a couple of seconds. Which will take her health down. And the second phase will start. Usually she would do some um, electrocution phase here, but you can just skip that if you just fire some uh, well-timed micro-missiles at her. And yeah, last phase of the game, last BFG abuse of the game. And that's pretty much Doom. We ripped and teared. Well, actually, we didn't we skipped all the fights. That's time. 37, 38 uh, in-game time, or no loads time. That's actually pretty nice considering uh, the fails of the last missions and yeah, Foundry worked well. Really happy about this run. So yeah, that's Doom for you. Um, if you want to learn the run, feel free to join our Discord. We also have some tutorials and basically everyone from our community is willing to help you. Also, yeah, big shout out again again to the whole community and big shout out... Well, I will do it especially to uh, Seeker, Jerome, 
This Thurston 2, Poffy, they all like really brought the game down to where it's now, where it at, where it is at now. 30 minutes and 22 seconds, the world record by Jerome, by Jerome. And he's probably gonna be the first person who gets sub 30, something which most people wouldn't really have believed would be possible like a couple of months ago. But yeah, the game was really optimized a lot. And um, like, I think Puffy brought the game down from roughly 55 to 50 minutes down to 38 minutes, then... Uh, oh, I forgot to mention Whitehound. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whitehound uh, obviously also needs uh, mention because like he was really uh, one of the most important runners of this game for a long while. He, uh, I think he got several records in a row taking this game from 38 to 33 minutes. And now it's basically Seeker and um, Jerome battling for the record. Oh yeah, that's Samuel by the way, we haven't met him since the intro. <laughs> we see each other again. So thanks for having me. Shots fired. Uh, was really fun. And yeah, enjoy the runs that are still coming. I'm out.